on the Power Chat series with our guest, Rose Rayom, uh, for the tournament, I'm sorry, for the international, the Toronto International Ch Martial Arts. Thank you. It is such a long, <laughs> it is such a long name. It's the Toronto International Tournament of Martial Arts Champions. Goodness. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me one second. Okay, so we have Rose on here today as our guest, and um, super excited to have you on. So let's start off. Obviously, you did really well. Pictures in the frame, two grand champions. But how did it go overall? Um, overall, um, uh, it's been one of the best tournament of the year. Um, like I actually had, had really good tournaments overall. Um, mm -hmm. but this one I competed in seven division, which I haven't done in a while. Wow. Um, I came back with, I won the traditional challenge. I also won creative weapons, which I haven't done in three, four years, maybe. And then, um, I also, I dropped a musical weapon, but that's fine. It's on me. Then I fell off the ring in creative forms, which happens too. Um, but then on the Saturday went well, um, I won, uh, Japanese form. And then I also won, um, Chinese traditional weapons. And I got second in tempo. So, I um, mean, what? So you said you fell off of the ring. You said, yeah. Okay. So I actually posted the bloopers on um, my Instagram. So when I, I I went on like there, I couldn't see like the end of the ring. Don't know how and why. But when I spin on my knees, um, one of my knee went off of the mat in front of the judges. So I stopped and I gave them a look and I just kind of bounced back. Um, um, on the ring and finish it off, but yeah, uh, it's okay. I just didn't calculate properly where to start my farm and I didn't adjust well on the mat. So, yeah. okay. But still, I mean, that's the nice thing about winning grands. You don't necessarily, you don't have to win all your divisions. You just have to, um, perform twice really well on stage. Your competition. How was that? How are the competitors going against you? Um, the pe competitors were really strong. Um, I'm actually happy with how many people there were. Um, mm -hmm. Katie McMillan was here. Amber uh, Rutherford was there too. Um, Kaylin Vaughn was there. Um, so the girls were wow. like on like on top notch. Um, they competed with the their strongest kata. Um, and I've seen them the, towards the year. And I I think this weekend, well, the last weekend was probably one of their strongest one. Um, and uh, overall, it was really nice. And all in the other divisions too, right? Like the 16, 17 divisions were enormous. Um, 16 to 20 kids. Um, even the 14, 15 one, some of uh, some of the Karate, WKF Karate Canada Ontario people came in and uh, jumped in for traditional forms too. Um, Matthew Grisha was there. Uh, Noah Sansei, Avery Presley for um, on the from Paul Mitchell was there too. Um, Sophia and DG. Uh, were there to perform their last team uh, musical sing, which was amazing to see them once again. So a lot of the big NASCA names and a lot, a lot of um, good WKF Ontarian uh, came on, and uh, it was really good competition. That's awesome to hear. Also part of the competition aspect before, before that happened, there were tons of seminars, which was one of the main draw that I know the promoter, Mike Politi, is really proud about getting all of these top athletes to give back to the sport ahead of time. And you were on the list of those people. Tell me how that went. Um, that went amazing, uh, which is probably one of the biggest uh, point, good points from the Pelides. They really want to give back to the community, right? Um, and we all know how much seminars are, or how much it is to just travel around and do these kind of things. So uh, doing it for free is just their way of giving back to the younger one. Um, I remember when I was 10, 12, I was actually doing the seminar with Ross, with Becca, with Danny Atkins, and now just giving, being one of the coaches uh, that was a part of the seminar was actually eye-opening, right? Like, that's how you know you've been a part of the crew for a long time, like a part of the NASCA uh, people from, for a while. Um, it was actually a really good seminar. Jared had a really big one. Um, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting a lot of people on mine, but I ended up with 20 people on the Friday, which was really impressive. I had to take two rings. Um, and then alternating groups because there was way too many people for their for Bo. Um, they were almost eating each other. Um, <laughs> and then sadly, Robbie and Ross couldn't show up, but Bailey jumped in and um, Nico and uh, also Ben jumped in to do their, their own seminars. And it was a lot of fighters there too. And a lot of good fighters were actually doing 
the other guys' seminars, right? So which oh, like the four the fighters were doing like forms or weapons or any type of oh art? no no no. But I mean, like um, the fighters were doing the fighters. Uh, oh seminars. oh, okay, but, that's like, cool. It was it was cool to see some adults, you know, that fights in general. Mm -hmm. Take example, Bailey's seminar. You know, like yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't cold-hearted or it wasn't weird because they're like competing against each other. Right. Um, I did actually uh, with Pia, um, Casey, uh, Casey seminars. Um, and then I did Jared seminar too with some of the, like uh, Cameron Claus was there too and Amber to do Jared seminar. So it was fun to see good athletes, you know, the, the adults, one of the, some of the best ones actually do those seminars too and enjoying it and having fun. So um, for the seminar part, it was amazing and they did really well. It takes a level of, you know, humbleness to be able to go into another person's seminar as an adult, as a top level competitor and recognize you could learn something or you could even just benefit from what their training might look like, right? Oh yeah, and like we all have our own style, like when we do kata and we, but sometimes just learning new tricks and new way of training from somebody else and you can adapt them your own way to put them in your training or in your kata, right? Um, I think humbleness is a good word, but also thinking about the fact that you're always a white belt. Mm. Um, I think so often we just go and we're like, oh my God, we know what we're doing. We don't need to learn anything anymore. And that's a big mistake. I think the ones that are great are actually the ones that keeps learning. Mm -hmm. So this way you can like stay up to date for the younger ones that you're teaching too, right? So... Awesome. And so, like I mentioned, you're part of Team NMAC, also um, sort of a Canada, a heavy saturation of people from Canada. How did your teammates do at the event, too? Oh, I was, um, they did amazing. Uh, Jacob, uh, one of the NMAC fighters, was on the stage. Um, you, you probably, those who have been there, he's like the super tall guy, super nice guy. He did amazing. Um, his mom in the 40 plus two did amazing in fighting divisions. Um, I have my crew from Quebec, mm -hmm. from my dad's school, right? Because right now I'm in Toronto. So my dad's crew did really, really well. Uh, Melanie won a lot of her divisions. Um, and then uh, all the results by heart, I don't know all of them. Um, mm -hmm. I know Diana from Mexico did that really well in fighting. Right. Um, and then Kayla and, um, yeah, a bunch of them did good. And then you found uh, a lot of uh, Canadians too on the night show, which is fun to see. Uh, Change the rhythm of the night show at some point too. So that was How good. was the night show? I mean, obviously you performed in it. Um, did you get a chance to kind of just take in or maybe paint a picture of the atmosphere? Um, uh, the yeah. Yeah, well, I had the occasion to go and give trophy up, uh, up there at first, right? Uh, so I was able to see a little bit what the – what, how was it laid? How was the mat um, for that? I didn't have time to practice on it, actually. Um, I've been doing a lot of, I did a lot of roles in the, yeah. in the tournament. I was just, I wasn't just a competitor. Uh -huh. So I was running around a lot. Did you judge? Was fun. Sorry? Did you judge? I judge. I score keep. Um, I helped <laughs> placing the room with uh, Miss Lee, with the Pelides. Um, I actually helped managing too, helping with the competitors running back and forth at the registration stable, um, fixing some mistakes, right? Because the color belt had different rules. So some people misunderstood that and re didn't register the kid at the right spot. So I help around with that. And then, um, yeah, so overall, the night show was just great. It was different because there was less fighting. Um, mm -hmm. There wasn't, the team fighting wasn't up there, but the the 30 plus and the 50 plus had overalls on the night show, was, which was amazing. It was sponsored by um, Andrew Gabillion. Um, and I think it's something we sh we could see more often, and everybody could use a little bit and um in their night show, which was they did amazing. And um, it's nice to see that a bunch of them are from longtime competitors, right? That keeps doing it. Yeah, com longtime competitors, even promoters. Um, you know, keeping that competition, uh, that category really interesting and exciting to watch. So I'm glad that they got um to be showcased because I know. Frequently they don't, so that's really great to see. And is that something that you wouldn't mind seeing at other night shows? Oh no, I, like I would, I would actually enjoy it. Um, I look at them and I tell all, every time I see like thirty plus, forty plus, fifty plus compete, and I wonder if my joints are gonna be able to handle it at that age too, right? Yeah. So I look at them and I like um, Mary Jose from Quebec was on the night show. Um, one of Cedric Farlam, uh student. 
And I mean, she's she's grown up with my dad, right? They were in the same school when they were younger. And I, I see her train and I see her compete everywhere. And now she's a part of Event Mac and she's doing so well. Um, and Melanie Kante from my dad's school too. And it's just amazing to see them keep going. So, yep. Yeah, it's a great, it's, I think showcasing that is also a great way. Like it gets you, yourself thinking, am I going to be able to do that? I'd love to be able to do that um, as sort of a, an aspirational, a goal to, to hope that you're still, you know, moving and, and um, involved in the sport as well. So this was, you said, one of your best tournaments, if not the best tournament of the year. Uh, overall, though, if you had to kind of review the event as well, not just because you got double grands. <laughs> yeah. But tell me about just the review of the event for the post show. Okay. So um, of, of the tournament, like the Toronto tournament event, mm -hmm. um, overall, it was great. A lot of people, um, lots of co good competitors, good of uh, a lot of people from Ontario too that came. So lots of color belts, surprisingly, uh, 20 to 30 kids in some divisions. Jeez, that's a um, lot. Oh yeah, um, there was this divisions that I judged was super impressive. Um, two little guys. Um, I don't remember the age group. Um, I think it's Wasim, little brother. Mm -hmm. uh, these kids are like color belt under ten. They do flips, crazy flips. They're really good. Um, we have a, like you can see that there's a bright future ahead. Um, and then uh, there was also the dog, the Duke, who was like um, the mascot of the tournaments. Um, Avery was with them a bunch of times and then uh, some of the kids just came and like pick him up. It was funny to see and then there's a lot of picture of the dog on the internet. He's kind of famous now. Um, the the Palides handled it pretty well. Um, lots of the judges were on point. The, the system was good. Not a lot of computer fail, like computer failure thing, which doesn't happen so often. Normally, you know, we have a lot of um, problem with the system, but now this weekend went well and the, the night show was good. The time was good too. On the Friday night, we didn't leave at 11 at night. We left at like 930. So okay. overall, the tournament was really good. Awesome. Great. And I know this is a tournament that you've been going to for a very long time. Um, and I'm sure you're going to be back for next year. If you had a message sort of to wrap up for someone who didn't get to go to a, the, to this tournament um, in Toronto, what would, the, what would your message be? What's like the main selling point? Um, the seminars, go learn, enjoy, have fun. It's the last tournament of the year, every year. Yep. Um, I think it's the nice, it's the best one to go and enjoy yourself. Um, just go around, go to Toronto, go see the CN yep. Tower. The food in Toronto, you guys, the food is so nice. Um, and give your best, give it all, give all you've got because it's the last tournament of the year. Next, then when you start over in the next one, then you can change your kata, change everything, but you is the last one to enjoy the kata, your weapons form, your fighting division maybe, because the next one, your age group is going to switch, right? So um, that would just be it. Just enjoy yourself and don't com you compete and enjoy competing, but enjoy moving around too and traveling. So Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I actually have never been to Toronto, but on social media, the, the pictures look so fun. It looks like a great time. You get a little winter in there, some maybe snow flurries. I saw some people ice skating. So it just looks like a really fun city as well. Plus the seminars, plus the, the end of year competition. So. Oh yeah. It's easy access to, to skating. Um, we were lucky this year. We had a little bit of snow during the tournament. So if you mm -hmm. guys have never seen snow, it's the time. Um, but you see, like this this week, no snow at all. Um, mm. It's all back to raining, so we've got lucky for the tournament. And uh, yeah, just overall, it's a nice nice location, nice tournament, nice people. Um, Canadian people are always nice anyway. So yeah, that that's that will be it. Great. Okay, Rose, thanks so much for coming on to the Power Chat series. Huge congratulations on your double grands wins, and also you know. Pushing, I mean, you rarely see adults do seven divisions. So um, congratulations on doing that and also your team Thank and you. your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and share and go to the uh, Toronto International Tournament of Martial Arts Champions. There we go. I got it right at the end. Yeah, you got for it. For next year.